Hey everybody, um, I want to redo the foundation plan because when I did the first time, we went kind of way overboard. I want to keep it simple. So let's kind of redo this again really quickly. So you can see my old one that I've kind of adjusted. But what I want to do is I'm going to have my floor plan open here. Uh, I think I made a foundation layer for my foundation. So I'm going to double click on my foundation layer. It's green. I'm just gonna draw a polyline around my foundation. So I'm gonna go to P-line, polyline, and I'm gonna zoom in real close. So I make sure that I grab the corners of my buildings and not the, uh, the ends of my dimension. So I'm just gonna create a polyline all around the perimeter of the house, which is just, I could have just used a rectangle, but you know, I like to do things difficult. So there's our, uh, our polyline. So I also want to make a polyline around. Usually you, you want your footings to be under your support walls. So there are some walls that are holding things up. There are some walls that they're just there as a barrier so that people can't, you know, you have privacy. So people can't see in and out or, you know, you want to keep out the riffraff. So those walls aren't really holding anything up um, technically. So Again, we want to. I'm going to create footings under the support walls. So I'm going to say that this wall all the way across is a support wall, and then maybe this wall dividing the bedroom from the hallway and the linen that's a support wall as well. I think that's what I got here. So what I want to do is I'm going to draw a polyline just for now, just from here across, from here across, from here. Down from here, down, and then I'm going to move these green foundation poly lines that I created. So I'll select there's one, there's yeah, anyway, you see the ones that we did. So I'm just gonna select those. I'm gonna press enter, enter, press enter, not integer. I'm gonna pick a base point, so just anywhere. And then I'm just gonna move it straight over, like say here. So then what I wanna do is my footings are gonna go underneath the perimeter of the, the uh, foundation. So they're 12 inches from the edge. So before I'm gonna um, type in X for explode. I'm gonna select all these polylines that I did. You can even draw one around the whole thing. Press enter. So now these are now individual lines. And then what I want to do is I'm going to offset the perimeter lines 12 inches. Press enter. Wait, oh, let me try this again. Offset 12 inches, right? Then I'm going to select this line, um, offset to the inside. Let's see, I'm going to change this. Let's see if, do I have a, I'm not sure what layer I put those on. Okay, footing layer. So I'm going to go, I'm going to select these lines that I offset. I'm going to go up to my list of goodies. I'm going to click on footing. So now those are hidden lines. I'm going to fill it the corners. And then, so this is gonna be a 12 inch footing that's centered under this wall. So this wall is, what is that, six inches. So I need to offset this line on each side by three. So I'm gonna offset three, this line up, this line down, and I can erase these two original lines here. And let's see, I think this is a four inch wall here. So this one is four, yeah. So I'm gonna offset these lines um, four inches. So that gives us a total of 12. So four inches off each side. Erase these two center lines. Come on, come on, erase those. 
Yeah, so now we have our 12 inch footings. I can trim out these gobbledygook here, there, and there, and there. And then I'm gonna, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna left click down, like in this spot here, left click the mouse and let go. I'm gonna drag it across and then left click in this area. So now I've selected all those at one time. I'm gonna change it from foundation to footing. So there's that. So this is our, our foundation with our footing all around the perimeter. Our footing is underneath our um, support walls. And then I'm just gonna add dimensions that you see here. So I need, to, actually I need to, I need to dimension to the center of these footings. So I need, I need to find that the center of this. So this is 12. I'm just gonna offset this by six temporarily offset this also by six so that I can add my dimensions. So I'm gonna change my layers to dimension here. I'm gonna go up to linear. I'm gonna select the corners, All right? I'm gonna drag it out. I'm going to dimension from the corner, wait, the corner that center of this footing, drag it out. You wanna get these lined up, so, like you don't want one to be there and one to be, you know, way over here, crossing, try to get these lined up. So the way that I do is I just click on the end of this dimension that I already have, and it keeps those two in line. Um, I'd rather have this be an equal 18 feet, and that's an equal, 14 feet, but it is what it is. So we're gonna leave it like that. Um, linear, I'm gonna click to dimension this corners here, drag it up, dimension the corner to the center of this plane, drag it up. Just kind of eyeball it here is usually what I do. You don't wanna have them too close. You don't wanna have them over the top of each other. You don't wanna have them too far. Right about there is good. And then just do the same thing at the end of that. So there's our dimensions here. I'm gonna just erase this middle line that I used for our dimensions. So there is our, our foundation, nice and easy. Um, I'm gonna create a section, like if, like what, you need to tell somebody, okay, what if I cut a section through this footing on the end, what does it look like? If I cut a section through this footing that goes under our support walls, kind of what does it look like? So I'm gonna create those and I'll, I'll kind of show you how I did that. So just for now, um, just kind of get your foundation to this um, level right here, nice and simple, and then uh, save it. And I'm gonna get you those um, detailed cuts in just a jiffy. All right, peace.